G'day everyone, it is Goober here with another SS4 torchlight video. Um, I have jumped on the bad wagon and I'm currently leveling through the campaign as Erica 2, which is Lightning Shadow. Uh, it's pretty weak early on until you get your um, hero ability. Your first uh, unlock pretty much makes her just dash through the game. So as you can see, those little waves of lightning that are coming out, that is from the um, hero trait. And that helps you clear a lot. So basically, I just dash around with um, Spiral Strike, which is free because of the talents. And then you just stop and kill elites. And uh, I found the best way to get through the campaign is just dash through everything that you can and kill the bosses and then every time that you get up to a uh, treasure room you just spam it because it's really high density um, and it's increased uh, XP so you get 30% increased XP in here so you just dash through kill the big mobs kill the boss and leave and uh, die every now and then who cares this character is squishy as hail, um, but you know it doesn't really matter. Eternal Moon is that good for me? Maybe give me a damage upgrade or something. I mean, hmm. maybe. Don't know. Don't know enough about this character to know. So. Anywho, I'm just smashing through the campaign. Now it felt pretty slow compared to Iris. Uh, minions are still incredibly strong early. However, when we got to maps, Iris really fell off in comparison to how fast other people were going. Is that dagger good? That dagger is fantastic. Let's chuck that there. Or oh, that one. Yeah, that'll do. Shield of Judgment. Reflection. They buffed Glorious Journey. I actually had this drop on my main. It pretty much one-shots the first few bosses. And it's a ton of energy. So. Big props. Big props. Anywho, uh, how long have I been in this character for? Um, 16 deaths. Hour and 20 minutes. I'm at level 38, so it's going to be about two hours to get through the campaign. And I'll see you then. So now that I've done this a couple of times, it's saying that the XP is going to be low. It's still 93%, and it's still 30% increased XP for being in here. So, um, now that I've got the upgrades, I've still got a bunch of... I've got four talent nodes that I can actually use. I shouldn't use those. But now I just dash through, and it basically kills everything. I just have to stop every now and then if I want to kill the uh, elites. Oh. Searing finger bone. I probably won't use that because I've, I've had a lonesome drop during uh, this campaign. So as you can see, the XP is still quite insane in here. So a lot of people have been stopping just before uh, maps and just smashing out the one of this and getting up to 65. And then the start of the maps is simple because uh, you're massively overleveled. And the fights are so much easier now that uh, we've overleveled in that area. Um, bossing and stuff is a fair bit easier because you're obviously over leveled you've got all those extra talent points and i probably could have gone um to 45 and then i would have had the next hero trait but i didn't think of that um which isn't going to matter too much anyway um so we should just smash through this pretty simply oh my neck has been killing me Thanks, bro. What'd you drop? Air treaders. Are they good? Don't know. Mop 
plus 80% speed when standing still, standing on a terror skill. Okay. I just love already how fast this character is. Like, how crazy is this? Just dashing through the entire story this fast. I wish I started with this, honestly. I tend to avoid starting new characters until someone else has figured out how to play it, but with the noob build, um, just a couple of little tweaks and it seems to suit your playstyle, however you f choose to do it. Um, I think I'm mainly following what it said. I've gone with Paralyze. I did go, go with Flicker for a while because it just made the mobility skill a little bit quicker. And I've gone with Rushed for the additional damage uh, and movement speed over the min-max additional damage because I'm just dashing around all the time. So, I don't know. If I'm killing stuff as a go, that seems to be more beneficial than um, a tighter damage group. It's probably based around lightning damage because lightning damage is like 2 to 55. I guess that would make it like 5 to... Um, 75, something, I don't know, whatever it is. But we're overleveled, so we don't care about any of these enemies at all, because we're just going to get to the next zone that has the treasure room and level up there. <clears throat> so having a class that has a very fast movement skill makes this so much better. And then you stuck on these crappy little spots but well them's the breaks there we go we're already at the next treasure trove uh, i feel like that was a couple of minutes ago that we're at the last one so we'll level up here until we're 50 or something um my damage is a little bit low that's okay we'll level up very quick here get some extra talent points, we'll get an extra hero um, challenge going. And then this will be a joke, we'll spend another couple of minutes here. And then we'll be a Dunsky. Oh, almost killed me. So the boss drops. Another lonesome. Is it better than the one I got? Ah, oh, it's lone survivor. It's not lonesome. Derp. Oh, I forgot I'd already done it. <laughs> I did it at 30 or something. Um, oh, well, whatever. Whatever that hero trait was, I, I didn't read it. I don't really care about that right now, but I'm hitting much, much harder. 62k, pretty cool. Uh, the talent node that I just got was Shock Settles an Additional Time, so that was probably a pretty decent boost as well. Um, so I guess we'll just get here until it gives us the warning. Uh, 44, it's probably coming up pretty soon. But yeah. I feel like this is definitely the way to go because uh, the mob density here is nuts and it's a lot of uh, rares and stuff. So you're getting that boosted XP, that's uh, boosted monsters plus 30% extra XP. And if you're in a group, you would be getting even more XP. Um, so I'd be interested to see what leveling with uh, someone like a Automoto would be like because their early game would be insane your late game would be insane uh late campaign let's just say that instead of a late game but the campaign takes about two hours at the moment which is pretty reasonable there we go we just got the you're all too high for this area at 44 percent xp which, let's see how much we get. 
I'm dashing through this. Oh, where am I going? I love how, like, a minute ago, my damage was taking ages to kill one of those purples and now just absolutely annihilate them. It's kind of funny. So we've still got one extra level from that. We'll leave and keep doing the story now. This fight on my Iris was kind of slow. However, on this character, she seems kind of strong. You know? <laughs> oh, fast, hits hard. I was seeing 350k crits before. Well, you just saw a 250k normal crit there. Um, we'll see what the Rusted Abyss boss is like and then we'll see if we can smash straight into maps the attack speed's kind of crazy it's a big suck Oh. Skills that I can upgrade. He's doing so well against me. Oops. Better, 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 better. Buffs. Oh, stop taking damage. Run away! Oops. Yes, yes, whatever. So, uh, yeah, that was uh, the final boss of the campaign. Let's see if we can do a... Oh, I think I've got a hero trait. Hero? Challenge, Hunter's Forge. Yeah, it's 60. I dare say this is going to be a massive challenge. Um, it's going to be very difficult. Yep, that was very hard. Although, that, to be fair, that was the 40, 50 something. It wasn't the 60. This will be the 60. Who's going to win me? Ah! Oh! Can't face tank. This class is kind of squishy, but... There we go. Try the next one, I guess. We'll put that hero trait on. I'm sure it will just lower our damage and not increase it by a ton, as every other hero trait has done. Oh, dead. Hot tip, don't stand in pools of fire, especially when you haven't really upgraded your gear in the last 60 levels. Okay. Maybe I'll come back when I've actually got some gear, you know? What's my gear like? Oh, that's not bad. That's level 10. I mean, it's not that bad, you know? It's definitely end game stuff. Easily end game. See what this guy's like. I do like this intro. It's cool. Is 
lost my buffs a bit early. Hmm. He is not taking damage. I am though. Oof, boy. Man, why is this so slow? Isn't this Tom at one? Time mark one? Oh, that was time mark four. Okay. My bad. Let me go back and actually play the game properly. <laughs> I got it half killed. I'm like, wow, it's just one shotting me over and over again. This is crazy. Let's see how a time mark one map goes. Pretty simple so far. What am I critting for? 800,000. So this character entering into maps hits as hard as my uh, level 83 or whatever. Iris, uh, good to see, good to see. I just saw a one mil crit. Um, completely balanced and um, this league's definitely not based around this character, I'm sure. Considering I'm in level, what, 10 or 30 or something. Gear. Now oh, that really looks like an upgrade. I've started lagging, so I'm going to have to restart the computer. Ah, uh, the game again. Shame. Alrighty. I don't want to sound like too much of a Debbie Downer, but let's do a mist fill. This is a tier 6 equivalent. It doubles in cost every time you do it. Which is a little bit crazy. <clears throat> Ninth time and later is 300. And you get like six per kill. Um, so anyway. You probably get more in time act seven. I haven't killed one in a while, so whatever. But just remember that last season, if you had the season pet, you could do time mark three or four, maybe five. In six, you would definitely be making like... 150, 200 flame elementium an hour. So let's just have a look and see how long this takes and how much flame elementium we can make. Now, if you haven't <clears throat> done this yet, you have um, sanity in the top left. Revealing a node takes three for the first level, six, nine, etc. Uh, as you progress through the um, days. Now the uh, cathedrals here, they restore some sanity. So I have 77. Click that. That restores 20. And this is the end goal. Um, when you complete it, it uh, refunds you with 30% of your sanity, which is 33. So 112 minus 33. So I may as well get it down to 79 before I go to the next uh, area. Uh, Folklores, obtain a torn map. Sure, I'll take that. <clears throat> okay, whatever. What? So I'm going to be a little bit worse off. We'll just leave there. <clears throat> Find the portal and escape the maze. All right. So there's no map. If you don't complete the objective, you don't get the 30% sanity back, which just sets you up to fail in the next zone. See an arrow down the bottom of there, so the exit is this way somewhere. Oof, almost died. This class does a fair bit of damage, but it is also very squishy. <clears throat> so we've got two flame elementium so far. Next 
exterior. Yes, yes, whatever. So the map that I've got before is revealing this bank here. You click that, you get some uh, coins. Here you can get a random coin. Quantity of old stuff sold is plus one. From now on, recover one sanity when you spend some coins. <clears throat> now this one here, you lose 10% of your gold every time you um, explore without removing it. <clears throat> and it's pretty much just RNG of finding the exit. And you either go into the zone to um, do one of the mini games, so um, there's different things, or it can just go to the next day. Or if you have the season pet, you have a chance to just get three chests instead of uh, go to this zone as well. So that is a shop to upgrade. That's a bad omen, so we don't want to hit that. <clears throat> We'll grab that just so it reveals another square of the map. We'll just leave, so hopefully next time we have Advent Kill, the most unspeakable existence. Okay. Boss, I haven't seen this one before. Cool. So it's four flame elementium, five if we count the lost secrets. <clears throat> so it's taken six minutes so far for four flame elementium. So this one here was, oh, there's nothing there, okay. <clears throat> I'm just leaving that cathedral there for when I need the sanity, which I do now. There we go, 58. <clears throat> now the new mediums can only start dropping after day 9. I've not got up to day 9 yet. So grab the coins and leave. This one you just take the bell and run to the end. <clears throat> get some damage up before I attempt to kill that. If you get hit, you drop it like that. You lose all your abilities, which is super annoying. Dropped it somewhere. Where is it? Where is it there? Very annoying. And just run past. Deposit it in the bell. That's the end. Didn't get any flame elementium that time. That was another two minutes. So I think we're still at five flame elementium. It's getting much more expensive to uh, do anything. <clears throat> Found the exit. Pretty lucky. Day 7. Now it's 10. There we go. That's a huge downside. Just blocks off 4. Uh, remove it when this steel is present. You cannot consume food. So let's try and go around it. Blind. Blind. So at this point, I'm basically just screwed. <clears throat> I have no food anyway. Anyway. 
And unless if this isn't the end, then this run's just done. So the run's done. So that took <clears throat> nine minutes to get five flame elementium. Compare that to last season. The league mechanic sucks. Um, anywho, I'll show you this build in a map. I'm still unlocking um, <clears throat> Time Mark 7 everywhere. I only just got level 88, so I can actually buy beacons now. So I should just do that and smash through um, and unlock uh, T8. At least do it once so I can. Um, so I'm critting for 297 million there. So basically, how this build works is you um, snapshot damage. And then, as you snapshot damage, um, it builds up and then it takes a new snapshot whenever you do a new uh, major hit. I have a memory that builds up the uh, additional damage as I move around up to 11% additional damage. So it's 11% uh, multiplier. <clears throat> so I just run around and then I use another ability every few seconds. Um, and it just keeps building up my uh, big hit. And then it's actually the lightning that's coming off my hero uh, trait which is clearing the maps for me. I'm just doing a big hit to build up that multiplier and then I just keep clearing. The build does a lot of damage but it is super super squishy. If I get hit I pretty much die 100% of the time. So not ideal but as you can see I can just run through the map and everything just dies. Every now and then I do another hit to keep that damage coming. And when you get to the boss, just hit him. And the uh, hero trait kills the boss. So that is where I'm at. I can f comfortably farm. I just realized I'm still in my... Um, season... Pack Spirits, there we go, now I'm in Flame Elementium, let's do another one with FE going. If I see the Season Mechanic, I might click it and just see how ridiculously hard it is. Oh, there it is there, so I'll pop that out. So he died. And I actually didn't take notice of how much I had. But I've only got 19 now. And it's taking um, 300 to run one thing. Nice stack of 5 Flame Elementium there. So instead of like other seasons where you would do the League Mechanic every single map. This one, you get to do it every, I don't know, 10 or 15 maps. Not very fun, in my opinion. Actually, pretty dog shit. Um, but, you know, it's pretty much on par for this season, to be honest. <clears throat> they changed a lot this season. And not for the better on most of the part. Like, all they had to do with Rhythm, for example, is leave it in the game but make the activation mediums a better version of Rhythm. Don't make it so most builds don't function because you didn't want... because you want people to use the medium. Just make the medium better than the standard version. That's all you need to do. Now, I believe the mediums um, have extra stuff on them, so they're definitely better. Um... I would look at the trade house, but the trade house is down, so can't even do that. So for now, um, 
It just feels like a worse version of Season SS3. Uh, but we'll keep plugging away and hopefully we get up to the lofty heights of Mummy's damage. He's doing like 5 bill at the moment, which is pretty cool. Do a quick boss. And then I might call that a day for the day two recap. 72 mils. Bam. Where am I going? Quick look at what we've got. We've had 150 flame elementium drop. Can't spend it because the trade house is down, but whatever. Um, I've had six pieces drop on this character, which is pretty cool. The six piece set on this one is 20% additional lightning damage, which is kind of crazy. And I had this weapon drop that was duplicated, which was plus two lightning skill levels and gear fizz damage and knockbacks. <coughs> And then it was crafted on some extra stuff. It's a little bit better than this weapon that I bought for one flame elementium, which is cool. I had a memory drop. Oh, I've got another set item there. Is it better than what I've got? Mm. No. It's just worse. Same item level, so the energy won't even change. But that's fine. Can't really price check anything because of the trade house. But yeah, some people are making an absolute killing of selling tier one stuff. Yeah, memory. That's what I want to. Oh, yeah, okay. Just didn't work. <clears throat> I was looking at this on my iris, and people were. Um, these were about 150 flame elements in, so. Interesting to see if that'll sell when it comes back up, but who knows. Anyway, that's what I've got for day two, and I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully the trade house is up. I can get a better idea of how much I farmed up today, and hopefully get some um, stuff going. Cheers.